Hi, my name is Jeff Sturz from Whitetail Habitat Solutions. And what we're gonna be talking about today, five ways that you can practice in the spring right now to make you a better hunter this fall. A great strategy that you can practice in May that pays huge dividends in the fall can be a whitetail water hole. What I'm looking at for the conditions that support a water hole are locations where deer are bedded dry all day, feeding on woody browse, shrub tips, briars, and then they're heading to an evening food source and there's no water in between. A great spot to add a water hole. Now, a water hole can be very easy to add. For close to 20 years, I've been creating water holes with a 100 gallon tank, stock tank, cattle tank. And what I'm doing with that tank is I'm digging that into the ground, below ground level. I'm putting that out in May because then the nature typically fills it, rainwater, lots of rain in the spring. Put it in a shaded location so the water's not evaporating. But boy, a water hole during May can be the perfect addition and a very powerful attraction. What's great about the spring is it's a perfect time to be invasive in your woods. And what I mean by that, this is a time where you have many months of forgiveness. If you spook deer, they're gonna forgive you by the time hunting season rolls around. It's also a great time when there's no leaves, no bugs, and you can really learn the lay of the land. And what I'm using the mapping for is I'm dropping points in locations where I'm finding buck sign, and I wanna find those thick areas where I look across the landscape and you can't see through because there's a lot of briars, a lot of hardwood regeneration and shrubs. And those are great locations to mark points and really start to learn why deer in this location and why they're not in others. If it's thick, there's a lot of cover and there's high concentrations of rubs and scrapes, then that's exactly where those bucks are going to be in the fall and a great spot for you to hunt. And again, this kind of activity and marking those locations can pay big dividends this fall and really help you understand why deer are using a certain location in the fall versus the summer versus the winter and again great time to mark those on your map and relate those to your hunt this season now springtime is a great time to scout rubs there's no leaves on the trees there's no bugs you can see rubs from a long ways away but not every rub is created equal and one of the things i'm looking at is is that rub from the hunting season or is it right before the hunting season and there's an easy way to tell if the shavings are under the leaves Leaves, leaf drop is most of the time in late October, early November, depending on the state you're in. If the shavings from that rub are under the leaves, a lot of times it's early season and there's a giant summer shift where bucks transition into the fall habitat and that could be a mile away from where they're at. And often when it's early September and they're just exiting velvet, those rubs that they initially make might not have anything to do with where they're at in the fall. Look for those shavings on top of the leaves, indicates it during the hunting season under the leaves indicates it's typically before the hunting season begins. Part of your springtime scouting begins on your couch. And what I'm looking for are areas where I think that I can actually successfully hunt a buck. So I'm looking at, this is a food source, this is a bedding area, this is a fall food source and a fall bedding area. And I'm looking for those locations in between. And I'm also considering greatly my access. Can I get in and out of this area without spooking deer? Once you've looked at that entire system, Picture it as a barbell. You have food on one side, bedding on the other, and you have this travel corridor in between. I have great access. Then when you get to that point, you're going into the woods and you're looking for those deer trails. The great thing about the springtime, there's no new growth. The vegetation hasn't taken place on the forest floor. I'm looking for that trail of connection, regardless of whether it's being used right now. Easy to find in the springtime, easy to find a tree to hang your stand into, mark it on your map, and head into this fall with a lot of confidence because you know that you found that perfect trail with that connection to habitat that'll lead you to success this fall. Now one thing that I'd really like you to search for during the springtime is to identify micro movements of deer patterns on a daily basis that take place during the fall. There's going to be a pattern, it's where there's a afternoon food source, the deer hitting every day, and then you have doe bedding taking place typically within 100 yards of that food source if they have adequate cover, and then those bucks are going to bed behind that. What's important about that is if you have solid cover built from where those bucks bed to doe beds to that food source, then you have that micro movement. What's important right now is to find those pieces and learn to identify that so that you can apply it and those will pay big dividends this fall. I really encourage you to apply these spring practices to make you a better hunter this fall. If you wanna find more information about any one of these practices, check out my YouTube channel, Whitetail Habitat Solutions. Bottom line, my goal, goal of HuntWise here, is to make you a better hunter and I know we have the tools to help you do so.